Hello and welcome to another edition of Teacher Talk Second Grade. In this one we have Who Would Win? Polar Bear versus Grizzly Bear. This is a book by Jerry Pilata, illustrated by Rob Bolster. Thank you both. You guys are absolutely awesome and amazing. What a great way to make nonfiction come to life. If you're a parent or a student out there, this is going to be a level O. All of my books on this channel are leveled. And level O on the GRL, the Guided Reading Level, puts this at a third grade book. Please take a moment, subscribe to this channel. I have all kinds of books, first grade, second grade, third grade level, and I have, I think, every single Who Would Win in my possession, and I'm currently getting them onto this channel. Right now there's about 15, so subscribe, check out the channel, hit that playlist, and you'll see a whole bunch of these videos. All right, guys, let's get to it. By the way, I'm gonna show you every single page in this book, including who wins the fight? So stay tuned, build your evidence, and see if you can make a nice prediction here. All right, if you're familiar with these books, they start off, give you a little bit of background on these two guys. So we've got our polar bear and grizzly bear. They're going to give you the scientific names for these guys, which I am not even going to try to pronounce. And they give you all kinds of fun facts and little captions and things to remember and things that sort of did you know and, and where they can be found, all kinds of awesome stuff in here. More fun facts. This is really interesting. So we see this white fur, and even though it says white fur, it actually says down here, a polar bear's white fur is actually translucent. Translucent means see-through or clear. So while it says white, it's actually saying here it's translucent, see-through or clear. Very interesting. More fun facts. Here's the grizzly, and the grizzly comes in different shades of brown. Dark brown, brown, reddish brown, blonde brown. Very cool. Talks about how tall these guys are, how long they are. The grizzly comes in just about 10 feet, and there's that, I'm sorry, the polar bear comes in about 10 feet. Here's that grizzly at about eight feet. Very cool. All kinds of more facts about these guys. This page is awesome. Check this out. Actual size of the claws. And there's that polar bear. And here's that grizzly bear. Holy mackerel. Looks like the grizzly definitely has the advantage in the size of those claws. There's that paw right there. More did you knows and more remembers and fun facts. All kinds of more information on these two guys. Here's one that's kind of nice to know. Did you know, yikes, a polar bear can eat a human, but it hardly ever happens. That is nice to hear. Not very often. There's our grizzly over there fishing. And remember, I'm not reading this book to you. The idea is that you are going to decide if this is a good fit for you, and then you can go buy these books. Buy them on Scholastic, buy them on Amazon. I'll even have a link down below in the description so you can buy them on Amazon. Check them with your teacher too. Sometimes you can find these on Scholastic for a better price. Here's the faces of our guys. Speed, who's faster? And by how much? Well, there's a polar at 25 miles an hour. There's a grizzly at 35. Looks to me like a difference of 10 miles an hour. Here's our skeletons. Looks like they're pretty similar. Here they are hunting. This is pretty interesting. It explains how both these guys are solitary animals. However, the brown bears, excuse me, the grizzly bears, will sometimes come together when it is time to go fishing, when it's time to go catch some salmon. Very cool. Shows their dens or caves and how that polar bear is gonna go into a snow cave to hibernate and that the grizzly is gonna go into a rock cave to hibernate. If you don't know what hibernate is, well, they're gonna tell you all about it in this book here. Some fun polar bear stories and some fun grizzly bear stories. All right, let's get down to the good stuff here. These pages I will read to you. It's summer 
A polar bear steps off the ice onto the beach. A grizzly bear comes out of the woods. They see each other. They can smell each other. Both bears stand to get a better look. Then it happens. The grizzly charges at the polar bear, growling and showing its teeth. The polar bear crouches down, paws up, ready for battle. Running at full speed, the grizzly knocks over the polar bear. The polar bear gets right up and fights back. Whap! He smacks the grizzly bear in the face. Ouch! They claw, they scratch, and bite. It's a nasty fight. Who's going to win? Who do you think? They wrestle, each trying to get the advantage. Rolling around, both bears get dirty from the sand and the mud. The grizzly is relentless. It keeps on fighting. Suddenly, the polar bear sees no point in fighting anymore. There is no reason to fight to the death. The polar bear runs away. There he goes. The grizzly wins, but now he is sore and tired. He hopes he never runs into the polar bear again. These two bears are so similar. Next time, the outcome could be quite different. This time, the grizzly wins. They're telling you next time, you never know what's going to happen. This is interesting. Most of these who would win, the creature or animal that wins, usually the loser dies. So, well, I guess this is kind of a nice ending that no one died in this one. And, of course, we have this checklist at the back if you're familiar with these books. One thing to do, students and parents or teachers out there, if you tape these two pages together... And I have my students build all their evidence and use this checklist and they can decide who has the advantage here. The size, check off which one you think has the advantage. The claws, remember that? Who was that that had the longer claws? And hunting skills and teeth and all these different things. And that way they can have uh, organized evidence when they make their prediction on who would win. All right, friends, again, Please subscribe to this channel. I've got lots more of these Who Would Wins along with all kinds of other books. So subscribe. If you liked it, let me know. If you want me to read the whole book to you, let me know in the comments. I'm listening. All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye.